Hey y'all, let's take a look at more line stuff here. Uh, today we're gonna talk about lines that are parallel to other lines. And the main idea you have to remember is, parallel lines have the same what? You finish that. What word goes into that blank? Parallel lines have the same zip code. No, they don't have the same, okay. Allergies, yes, gluten allergies. No, no, essential oils, no, no, they have the same slope, okay. I figured it was one of those, okay. So let's go back, pause it if you need to, in fact, go ahead and pause it. And let's find the equation of the line that passes through those two points. So pause it and solve it, and come back when you're done. Pause it. Okay, I'm assuming you paused it. And pause it, okay. Anyway, we, don't, we know how to start, right? That's how we start. Don't even think, just that's what we want, right there, okay? The slope, the difference of the y's, negative five, minus negative one, which means plus one. And then three, minus two. So negative four over one, that's just negative four, right? So we have y equals negative four x plus b. Okay, that's our basic one. We gotta find the b, which means we need to find the x and find a y. Well, there's an x, there's a y. Let's just plop them in there, right? Y becomes negative five. That equals negative four times x, which is negative 12, plus the b, right? We move the 12 over, it turns into positive 12, minus five is seven, so we stick this in here, plus seven, and we got, it. okay, that's our oldie, all right? That's, that's what we need to know so we can solve the rest of what we're gonna do today, okay? Here's what we're gonna do today. Uh, well, let's do one more thing. Write the slope-intercept form of that line slope intercept which means of course our normal y equals that uh, was the worst m in world history okay y equals mx plus b right that's how we want to figure that out so we can go okay i'm leaving the 3y on the left i'm moving this over that equals negative 2x and plus 6 okay i'm dividing everything by 3 by 3 by 3 so i get my y i get my negative 2 thirds x and I get my two, and that is in slope-intercept form. We got it, okay? So you'll need to be able to do both of those things to do what we're gonna do next, okay? And here's a basic example of what we're doing. Find the equation of a line through that that is parallel to the line right there, okay? I hope you know what to do when they ask you to find the equation of the line. The first thing you write, without even thinking at all, is just go like this. Y equals slope x plus the y-intercept, that is what you write. You will try to find m, and you will try to find b, and then you will be done, okay? Except for the other 29 problems in the uh, Saxon problem set. Okay, so it passes through that point, and it's parallel to this thing. Well, we know that lines that are parallel have the same gluten allergies. Yes, slope, okay, slope. All right, let me picky about it. All right, so let's figure out what the slope is of this line, okay? Well, let's let's go and let's get three y on the left. Let's mash this over here to the right, so that becomes negative four x plus seven. And we divide by three, divide by three, and all that jazz. And we find out that y equals negative four thirds x plus seven thirds, okay? What is the slope of this line? There it is, right, okay? All right, and they're asking us to find the equation of a line through that. Don't forget, that's an x and that's a y. It's parallel to that. Well, we already found what the slope is, right? If they're asking us to find an equation of a line, it's parallel to that. I mean, it has the same slope. So it has the same slope. We don't even have to go through all that stuff about finding a slope we did last lesson. All right, we can just write it all in there. So it's equal to negative four over three. That's it. Only thing we need to find is b. Well, we know how to find b, right? There's an x, there's a y. We just <clears throat> write it in there and then figure out what b is. So let's do it. y is negative three. So negative three is equal to negative four over three times negative one. And we can put it over one plus b. All right, so negative three is there. Uh, a negative times a negative is a positive. So we have four thirds here plus b, all right? I'm gonna rewrite the negative three as a negative nine over three 
to match that, equals 4 over 3 plus v. This gets over there, so it becomes a negative 4 thirds, so negative 9 over 3 minus 4 over 3 is negative 13 over 3. That is equal to b. So there we go. That's what we just put it in there. Just like right there. So we have just found the equation of the line that's parallel to that line and it goes through that point. Ta-da! There we go. And again, you just find the you just find the slope of that line. Find the slope. Bam! It goes in there because it's parallel. The other thing you have to find out, it passes through that line and you just plop the x and the y in there and find the b and stick it back in there. You're done. There we go. Okay, try another one. They give you the slope sometimes. Isn't that handy? Find the equation of the line, passes through that, and has a slope of that. Well, again, don't forget. First thing you write when they tell you, find the equation of a line that, it doesn't matter if it says, find the equation of the line that, uh, you know, just fell off a mountaintop. You still write y equals mx plus b. And you find the m and you find the b. Well, they tell you it has a slope of this. Well, that makes it nice. Y equals negative 3 fourths x plus b. Handy. Passes through this. Well, that makes it even easier. That's an x and a y. So let's, re let's stick them in there. The y is 4. Negative 3 fourths times the x is 3. I'll put it over 1. Plus b. Okay. So 4 is equal to negative 9 over 4 plus b. Let's make this uh, as a number that has uh, 4 as a denominator. So that'll be 16 over 4 equals negative 9 over 4 plus b. And you just kind of schlop that over there. And that's going to be 25 over 4. And that should be. And there we go. That's where it goes right here. So plus 25 over 4. 25 divided by 4 is about is a little more than 6. So your line is going to be going pointing down, of course, because of that but it starts at a little above six. Okay, piece of cake. All right, how about this one? Find the equation of a line that passes through that and has a slope of that. Well, that's the same kind of problem, right? All right, give it a whirl. Pause it and go ahead and try. Don't forget, what's the first thing you're gonna write? Y equals mx plus b, okay? All right, go ahead and pause it and give it a shot. Okay. Well, if it has a slope of one seventh, that means you're going to put y is equal to one seventh x plus b. All right. It passes through that line. That's the x, and that's the y. So the y is going to be eleven. That equals one seventh times negative five. We'll put it over one if you want. Plus b. So eleven is equal to negative. 5 sevenths plus b. We'll go up here if you want to make it a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and change the 11 into something with a 7 in the denominator. So that's going to be 77 over 7 equals negative 5 over 7 plus b. I'm going to move this over. So that becomes 82 over 7 equals b. And there we go. That's the whole thing. So we have our equation y is equal to 1 seventh x plus 82 over 7. Seven. You know, if you had to actually graph this, uh, this is going to be a little more than 11, not quite 12, 11.714285, but somewhere around 11. Anyway, okay, there we go. That's it. That's how you do it. Okay, let's try another one. That's gigantic, isn't it? Okay, give it a whirl. Pause it and give it a whirl. Okay, well, let's see. The first thing we write is y equals slope x plus y-intercept. All right. Oh, there's our slope, negative one-half. So let's just stick it in there. Negative a-half x plus b. And there's our x, and there's our y. So the y is going to be 40. There's our y. Negative a-half times negative 50. You can probably do that in your head. A negative times a negative is it? Positive. What's half of 50? 25 plus b. So you can probably tell from that it's going to be 40 minus 25 or 15. And so we can just go y equals negative 1 half x plus
plus 15. And there we go. And that line, of course, the y intercept is a, right there at a 15, and it goes down to the right. So there you go. All right. Try A, pause it, and come back when you're finished with A. Okay. Well, if it's parallel to this, that means it has the same slope. What's the slope of this one? Negative three, which means you already kind of, you know, this is what you should have written first. Y equals MX plus B. I got to find that and I got to find that. Well, they give you that because it's the slope and it's parallel to that. So you can now write Y is equal to negative three X plus B. Now all you need to do is find the X and find Y when behold, there they are. Okay, so let's just stick them in there. Y, that's a two. Negative three times negative one, we can do that. That's just three, right? Three plus B. Well, so B is gonna be two minus three, negative one. So our whole equation becomes Y is equal to negative three X minus one. There you go. And if you were to graph that on a number, on a uh, coordinate plane, and you can, by the way, try these out. If you wanted to ever, you know, go to some graphing site on the internet and graph that in here, you would find that this thing went right through the point negative one, two. Okay, all right, pause it and try it B. Okay, this is a little more of a stinker because you're gonna have to put this in slope intercept form. But it's not that bad. You just, the two Y is good where it is on the left. The three X you move over, three X plus five. Then you divide everything by two, right? So we have a y that equals negative three halves x. And you know, frankly, you don't even have to bother with this because all you want is this information right there because that's the slope. But we'll just finish it up with that. Okay, that's the slope. If it's parallel to that, that means your new line has that as a slope. Okay, so the, you're gonna write y equals mx plus b. That's what you're looking for. But you know what the slope is now, right? Negative three halves x plus B, whatever B is. Well, happily, there's your X and there's your Y. So the Y is negative three, and that equals negative three halves times X, which is negative two. And we'll put over one, and then that's plus B. So negative three is equal to a negative times a negative is a positive. These cancel, so that's gonna be actually a three plus a B. All right, and then we just move this over. And three moves over, becomes negative three. Minus three is negative six, so there's our V. So here is our new equation. Y is equal to negative three halves X minus six. There we go. Okay, one more. That's it, just one more. So pause it and give it a whirl. Okay, don't even think. Just put y equals slope x plus y-intercept. All right, we'll fill in the blanks, okay. The slope is negative two-fifths, okay? That makes it easy. Here's our new equation, negative two-fifths x plus b, all right? That's the point it's through. Of course, that's our x and y. The y is three, negative two-fifths times two over one plus b. And that's going to be three is equal to negative four fifths plus b. And let's go ahead and rewrite this three as a number with a five in the denominator. So that's going to be 15 fifths equals negative four fifths plus b. This comes over and becomes positive four fifths. So that's 19 fifths. That's b. So now we can go y equals negative two-fifths x plus 19 fifths. There we go. Doink. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Have a good rest of the day.